there guys just doing a quick review on the latest Loki episode so spoilers if you haven't seen the latest episode of Loki so this is episode 3 now so basically we get to see uh, Loki and Lady Loki team up we basically see her you know trying to brainwash um, that commander from the previous episode who took who took out her own team because you know the Lady Loki was like controlling her because basically she was trying to get you know information from that commander by making her think that you know you know Lady Loki and her are friends but not really by making these fake realities and we also get huge reveals as well about um, these people that the timekeepers have recruited because we're supposed to think that there was actually created by the timekeepers but really that there was actually just you know normal humans that were just taken therefore they've basically been variants all along i can't imagine how people would react to that i mean things will probably get really crazy when that gets revealed to everyone i mean i can't imagine what they're gonna do finding out that they're all variants <laughs> are they gonna abel you know to the timekeepers like who knows what's gonna happen but yeah as for Lo as for loki and lady loki which i guess she doesn't like being called lady loki i kind of forgot her proper name yeah, they basically, basically have like a little fight. They get in a situation where they go to 2077 from their little fight, which, you know, 2077, that's kind of a, a convenient number. You know, for for us gamers, we're just going to think of Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know if that's like an actual time that's actually been in the Marvel Universe or not. But basically, it's kind of like an end, end of the world event anyway. So yeah, I guess in 2077... It's like that kind of situation where a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> yeah. And basically, Loki and Lady Loki get stuck there. So they decide to work together to, I guess, escape. And I guess by the end of the episode, they don't really escape. They, they try their best, but they don't really end up escaping. Also, I guess Loki kind of shares, like, you know, things about his mother to Lady Loki since they're kind of bonding. And kind of not. It's kind of... Like, the, their relationship's kind of a bit... You know, weird, but you know, it makes sense that it's weird because <laughs> they're kind of different versions of themselves. And I'd say, like, Lady Lo Loki feels more like a, vi a Viking or something than how Loki should be because you know, Loki's more like a magician, but you know, she's more like you know, ruthless and more of a fighter. Yeah, also, that scene when, when they come across that random person who just shoots him with that you know, gun, <laughs> whatever that was. Yeah, and then Loki pretends to be like the husband or something like that was funny. <laughs> there was a lot of funny scenes with them with those two characters together. Yeah, because uh, I was just thinking like, you know, like I don't think they would ever side with each other, but it does make sense that they would since they're kind of basically the same person. Yeah. But yeah, by the end of the episode, because they do try to work together, you know, to escape because this world's about to get destroyed, and basically Loki kind of accidentally destroys the thing that would help him escape. Because, you know, Lady Loki had a plan, but then I guess the Loki that we know kind of messes up things. And, you know, they try to find another way by using the Ark to escape. Because I guess that was Loki's idea. But then that doesn't work out. And they're basically trapped by the end of the episode. They don't even escape. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I am intrigued to see what they do with that um, reveal of basically all the people that um, work for the, ta the Timekeepers are actually also variants. Like... I mean, try to see what they do with that information when they find out, or if Luck is gonna reveal it to them. But yeah, yeah, this episode went by so fast. Like, I guess it was just forty minutes. I mean, it's been one division episodes that went by fast anyway. So yeah, <clears throat> but this one it went by so fast. I definitely really enjoyed it though. Lady Luck is definitely interesting, and I think what I was trying to say before is that you know Loki was kind of sharing like. How it was to have a mother, which you know, he was adopted, and I guess she was adopted too, but she found out sooner. But you know, she didn't really get to know her mother, even if it was like an adopted mother, she didn't really get to know him. As for Loki, you know, he shares a lot of things about his mother and how he learned a lot of his magic from her. Yeah, I guess Lady Loki kind of learned a lot of her magic from herself, like just finding out about it. But yeah. They're definitely cool when they work together, and I don't know if they was going to go in like a romantic way, but I guess they don't, but yeah. I'm just going to end it here. I mean, because 
you know, with how it ends, we'll just see what happens. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. One look, the heat is rising, and I've been cold for so long. One touch.